To date, the Miami Dolphins owner, Stephen Ross has steered away from talking with Jim Harbaugh about the Miami job, but that could change. According to a report, Harbaugh might still be in play. Over at Dolphins Talk, they have discussed this situation and they are hearing that Harbaugh has actually reached out to Ross about the Dolphins job. Before we dive into this, for those of you who do not know the guys at DolphinsTalk.com, they are not guys who throw stuff against walls. They may not be as sourced in as some local beat writers from time to time but they are careful about what they say from the sources they do have and typically, their caution pays off in the sense that they are reliable. Does this mean that Harbaugh is coming to Miami? Not at all but some of it does add up. What they are saying is that according to their source, Harbaugh reached out to Ross about the Dolphins' head coaching job, come get me, is what Harbaugh apparently said to Ross according to their source. Ross has been saying that he doesn't want to take Harbaugh from Michigan but if the coach is going to leave to take an NFL job, Ross has to want him, right? Unless Ross doesn't think that Harbaugh can do the job in the NFL, there is no reason why he wouldn't want him in Miami and if this report is accurate about Harbaugh being ready to come to Miami, then Ross needs to take a long look. So far, the Dolphins have finished most of their initial interviews and Harbaugh has not been one of them but he won't be. There will be no interview per se for Harbaugh. It will be a phone call that says, let's do it. This is the first time we are hearing any of this and it could be huge if true. The head coaching search could get a lot more interesting. The four most disappointing Dolphins from 2021. The Miami Dolphins finished their season with a winning record, but they failed to make a playoff appearance for the fifth year in a row and fired their head coach the Monday after their final game. While Brian Flores and his coaching staff are deserving of their fair share of the blame, there were quite a few players whose performances directly correlated with losses this season. This coaching search is a perfect time to reflect on and evaluate the play of some of these guys and discuss where the team should go from here. These were the four most disappointing Dolphins from the 2021 season. Jesse Davis. Davis was arguably the worst offensive lineman on a terrible unit in 2021. He struggled handling pass protection and couldn't get any push in the running game. If he didn't have Robert Hunt next to him, it could have looked even worse. It's actually surprising that he wasn't benched until week 18. Liam Eichenberg. Eichenberg was expected to join the Dolphins and fix some of the problems that Miami had been trying to fix for a couple of drafts at the tackle positions. However, the rookie played three different spots over the course of the year instead of sticking and learning one position at the NFL level. That resulted in him receiving a 50.7 grade from Pro Football Focus, making him the 83rd out of 84 tackles graded. Jason Sanders. Sanders was an All-Pro in 2020 and earned himself a nice five-year extension worth $22 million during the offseason. The kicker rewarded his team by making just 23 of his 31 attempts, 74.2%, in 2021. Miami lost three contests by three or fewer points where Sanders missed a field goal. Will Fuller. The big offseason signing in 2021 turned out to be anything but. Fuller made $10 million despite playing just two games this season and recording four receptions for 26 yards. The offensive line still would have limited the offense, but it certainly would look different with Fuller, Jalen Waddell, Devontae Parker, and Mike Jasicki on the field together.